down. Good. Good. So now we're just doing the down. Um, and it's pretty much just the mat exercise, but now we don't really need the mat when we're in public. You want to bump it up so that you don't have to take the mat with you everywhere you go to do downstays. So now Rocky will just do it. Good. Rocky will do his downstays without the mat anywhere as long as you make sure that he follows all these rules. If when you said down, if you ever say down and he doesn't go down, all you have to do is just step on the leash, apply a little bit of tension, and then he'll know that's his signal to go there so that you never have to repeat the command. Good. And your basic down stay, just like the sit stay, is where you can walk around him, you know, both ways. He accepts his handler walking around him for a treat. Good. And really, we're just after the byproduct of doing all this stuff. We don't do this to show off, although everybody, when they walk by Rocky, they all have something to say about how good of a boy he is. But that's, that's fine, but what we're after is the byproduct. And the byproduct of all this is a dog that can handle stress and excitement. Good. And stay grounded and not just lose control of their mind and then their body. So we're really, this is a mind thing. We're really focused on rewarding him calmly, you slowly. You can walk there. Good, he's respectful at that reward. And it's, you know, we're right by the front door, so it's really busy, so we got a lot going on, but this is, nope, good. This is great practice, and this is what we've been doing every day to just keep building up what I like to call good behavior equity is what we're building up here. Oops, sorry. Good. So there's only one way that he leaves his downstay. It's when you stand next to him and you pat your leg and say, okay, and then sit, and then he has to sit after, and then he's released from a calm sit stay. Go.